Cheers, thank you. Thank you. Sorry? All oh, right, okay. Interesting that I got too close to them. Yeah, they didn't complain about the bike. Now that's interesting, isn't it? Just it's not my fault they're on my path. <laughs> This is just bliss, guys. Absolute bliss. <laughs> oh, love it. the bottle guys It's a beast of a hell this on a bike that doesn't even know it's going up it. <laughs> I made light work of that little strip there, didn't it?
Hurry, learn how to ride a bike last night off So she lets her put off bikes forever and more, isn't it? She's going to have to, or she's going to be frightened of it. Oh, bless her cotton socks. I'll read it for this. Big ditch. Whew. Freedom's not the bloody wheel. Ah. That was a bit softer than we last fall. It didn't hurt the butt. Oh, what a place. There's what you can find just local. Just how clean. Not a noise inside. Nobody complaining. No police officers. Oh, look, watch out for them ditches. The monsters. Somebody's been on here on a boat post bike. You dug it all up. <laughs> Big ditch. Ah. Guys, Whee! oh shit! <laughs> Fucking hell, dodgy bastard! I don't even know if you can get out the field up here. Pass from the shot.
Klopt. Nee. Well, I said you've got electric bikes. Yeah. I said you've got electric bikes. Aye. Nice to see another one out and about. Do you like them? Aye, they're great for set. Electric. I built this one myself though, yeah. Aye. Aye. I worked the Keyside one day and this fella come past on like small wheel bike. Right. And uh, he wasn't pedaling. Oh, I right, okay. Her up and I said, oh, I said, what's that? So I built it myself. So I've got uh, one of the, the batteries from a Tesla car. Right. There's loads of them in the Yeah, Tesla. yeah. He says, uh, I used to be an engineer and he had that in the back. He said, uh, I've been to the Lake District and back in one charge. I got 120 mile on this. Right. 120 mile on a charge. I went, when I built this, the battery in this is absolutely massive. There's 200 individual cells in this. Yeah. And uh, I went from Blythe, I live in Blythe. I traveled, I used to be from Durham, so I traveled to Durham. Right. And I got back to Blythe and still had enough battery charge to get back to Durham. Yeah. You know, so I done 80 mile and there was right. a good 40 mile left in it, you know. So today right. I've been all the way up through Morpeth, Bedlington, Nedderton, yeah. you know, and then Bothell Woods, uh, Asherton, Sleekburn, and then back around here, well, like, you I know. <laughs> yeah, a lot of people, uh, a lot of people, a lot of people's not sure how to take it, you know. But uh, I love them. I mean, even them things. What happened is my, me, my, me, um, my last's dad bought an electric mountain bike, and I had a go on it, and it was brilliant. But they were pretty expensive. Uh, I just build one, you know, and it's like I end up costing three times the amount of money, but you know, but it's a, I'm happy with the result, like you know. So no, because it's it falls in a strange category. So basically, we all know it looks a bit like a motorbike. But when I first built it, it did have mountain bike wheels and everything on. The reason I changed the wheels is because I was getting punctures all the time. You know, the extra weight and all that. It, it was a nightmare. You couldn't take it out, and we all getting a puncture. So I ended up building these wheels myself and putting uh, bigger tires on. Um, basically just to stop us getting punctured and things like that but uh, if you build it yourself the loads on e-bikes are completely different to a shop bought one because you've bought them from the shops they've got to go through uh, type approval and all you know like if it's a specialized cube those have to pay thousands of pounds to get through type approval because it's a manufacturer if you build one yourself none of that exists so and limited to 50 mile, 15 mile an hour yeah, and uh, it, uh, 15 mile an hour is good, and uh, you know, don't get us wrong, it is still good fun, but I bet a few extra mile an hour, 20 mile an hour is, you know, spot on. I mean, you, you can alter the, uh, the sensor. Uh, oh, can you ever feel? all the... The range, yeah, that's the same problem. Um, Emma's dad has got a giant uh, electric bike, and he's bought this little box, and it's brilliant. It goes about 23 now, 23 mile an hour, something like that. Yeah. Cost him 90 pound, he plugged it in, and it works. But now he doesn't get so many miles and he's a cyclist by heart, you know, he likes getting out and about. And now we might only get, you know, nine mile, ten mile on it, you know, and it's, it, it's kind of spoiled it, you know, so. But as for licenses with these, because it's got pedals on, I can argue the point that it is a mountain bike. I can pedal it, do you know what I mean? But, uh, no, I've not, and I've been all over and I've seen hundreds of police and I've had them follow us. 
and I've seen them, like, it was about half nine at night the other day. Uh, I built, Emma, I built my missus a one out of a giant mountain bike. Hers is just basically one of them, but, you know, I built it. And um, we're out the other night, and it was just putting in dark. And, I mean, we were only going down the street dead slow. And a police car seen us, and he must have immediately thought it was a motorbike. And he's seen him flying down the road, and then he got close, and he must have realised it wasn't a motorbike. And then he, he didn't even put his lights on, he didn't stop, didn't, and he just drove straight past, you know. Yeah, so you'll think it's some kid joyriding on a motorbike? Well, that, that's the only, I mean, the thing is with them, it's because they're quiet. Do you know, because they don't make any noise. It doesn't even bother anybody, do you know, like nobody. The, the, this has been built, it's been built for over a year now, this, and uh, they, I've never ever had a single person complain, believe it or not. I had one person complain and I took the bike up to Thrunton Woods, do you know. Um, I used to be into my mountain bike, and so I just thought I'd go on the mountain bike tracks. And I took up there and I was talking to a track builder and the guy was no problem when I was talking to him. Uh, I do YouTube videos, you see, so I've, uh, I was up there doing a YouTube video and I, I finished the video, I put it on YouTube. A few weeks later, this guy gave us loads of grief, you know, there must have been about nine or ten track builders. And he was going, oh, your bike's too fast and you, you said it to me, you weren't going. This bike didn't cause any damage up there. It didn't cause no noise, you know, it hasn't got knobbly tires, so I'm not chewing the ground up, yeah. you know, I mean. The overall impression within a year, it's about 14 months probably now it's been built. Um, overall impression is nobody says a word, nobody is really that fussed. Yeah. I mean, if you're riding around like an idiot, yeah. fair dues, you know, if you're going to be, you know, going past, you know, women and kids or, you know, dogs and things, but, you know, if you're just sensible about it. It can be. It all works through, uh, this one all works through Bluetooth. So today, because I've been going for like a, a decent ride, yeah. um, I've turned it down on my phone. And it's got a speedo and all the rest of all the electronics is built on my mobile phone. Um, but today I've got it all turned, like the power turned down to get more range. If I unlock, uh, it's basically one of the fastest ones in England, if I unlock it, top speed is 73 mile an hour. You know, so it's it's not for the faint hearted, you know what I mean? But well, this it's, bloke who was sort of uh, along the time, he said he'd beat up Dean Street at 30 mile an hour before, and this was just a, an ordinary bike. bike. Well, the one I built on my missus, I mean, a mountain bike, it's a giant stance, 2017 giant stance, it's a nice mountain bike. It's about 1,700 quid new, and it costs us 700 quid to rebuild it. So it costs us like 2,400 quid in total. You know, and it, it's a thousand. It runs 250 watts. So it's the same as what them are. Pedal assist, so it hasn't got a throttle or anything. Um, but it's got a switch on the handlebars. So if you know when you're off-roading and you need that little bit of power to go up a hill or something, you can flick a switch and it goes to a thousand watts. So 99% uh, uh, of the time when you're riding around the streets, it is just two, 250 watts. But uh, the, uh, the, the, the 400 watts M1s, are they? Uh, yeah, my mates just bought it with us across the Lake District. Right. And we went and just cycled around the Kilo one day, we went halfway. And uh, I took that one for him to try. And he just bought uh, bikes for him and his missus uh, e bikes. Yeah. And uh, he said the great that he's the both great the motor is now the 500 watts. Yeah. And uh, I forgot the watts. What bike he's got, but those are cute. Uh, there's so many about these days. Uh, and they are coming oh, down in price little by little. Little by little, I, I think for the price, I, I don't get us wrong, I can understand why you have gone out and bought them because they are brilliant and no doubt you do a lot more miles or go out on your bikes a lot more now than what you have, oh, have done for a while, you know. Right, amazing, yeah. Just yeah. The way, the worth of weight and go, these things, they are brilliant, you know, it's just... <laughs> you know, I, I built this thing for, uh, for Emma and uh, this mountain bike, and I took it over to my mum's, and my mum's, you know, 55 or, you know, 56, and uh, I said, do you want to have a go on it? She's obviously, she's a bit frightened to have a go on this. It's a little bit tall, my mum's only yeah. a small woman. Anyway, she has a go on Emma's bike, and she, she went up the hill, she lives on a hill in Mortbeth, she goes up the hill, and uh, we expect her to just come back down. So me and Emma's standing there waiting for her, and it's like, oh, I know she must have fallen off. So me and Emma's running up this hill, and we get to the top, and my mum's not there. And it's like, where's she gone? <laughs> Hey, she is at the bottom hill. She'd only gone right around the block. She comes back and says, ah, I love that. <laughs> so I think that's going to be my next project. I think for Christmas, I might have to sort my mum one out, you know. Oh, you come from Morpeth, have you? What kind of range do you get on them things? Uh, well, we never run out. If no. I we'll, we'll keep it on low on eco, so you still get a bit of a workout. Yeah. Uh, but if you've got the power there for going up hills. Yeah. But we've probably got... We'll probably only ever do the maximum of about 25 miles when we go out and about. Uh, 25, we're going to be 30 miles. Well, well, it's still far enough though, isn't well, it? That's still a nice charge. Two bars yeah. and you've got five bars in your back. Oh, so right, OK, right. We've so probably got about 60, 70 miles. Maybe more. That's, that's, that's not too shabby, that is. It's all right. 
Yeah. And 36 volt, are they, do you know? 36 volt batteries? I'm not sure. I don't know what the voltage is. But, um... I recommend uh, anybody, I recommend anybody getting one. If you watch my YouTube channels, uh, most of my videos, you know, I don't understand why people pedal anymore. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> I know you pedal these things, but you know, but the assist. What's your YouTube channel? The e-bike nut, that's what I'm called, the e-bike e nut. I have uh, I do all the costumes and everything, you know, so I'll get a bike and I'll, I'll tell everybody, like, I've just did a video last week telling everybody what's on this and how many of each and why I've done what I've done and all the rest, so, um, and you'll see Emma's bike getting built. So have a look on YouTube, the e-bike nut. I've got about 100 videos on there, so, they're picking up, so, yes. It's nice to meet you, anyways, have fun, yes. And you. Draw.